Until recently, the application of a wet room was seen as impractical and at best complicated. Wix have now simplified the three main issues confronting the installer. The waterproofing. Wix waterproof tanking products offer everything you require to waterproof your bathroom. The gradient is now in a pre-formed format. The drainage, the Wix wet room waste, has been specifically designed to ensure the installation is safe and flexible. The deck and waste can handle 22 litres of water per minute, so please ensure your shower installation is below this pressure before you begin. These are some of the tools you will require before you proceed. The installation you are about to see is typical of a timber floor. The working area will need to be free from dirt and dust to work efficiently. Always place the showering area in the far corner of the bathroom. Before you start, we recommend you mark the gradient lines of the deck on a piece of cardboard. This will help you to cut your tiles to match the gradient at the end of the installation. Determine where your wet room floor is to be installed and remove the original floor covering to expose the floorboards. Lay the Wix deck flat on the floor and mark around it with a pencil. Remove the Wix deck and cut along the lines with a circular saw to the depth of the floorboards. Beware of any pipework or electrical cables that may be concealed under the floor. The floorboards can now be removed to accommodate the Wix deck. The Wix deck should always be fitted perfectly level on all four sides. Check the top of the joists are level. Adjust if necessary. The performance of the deck is determined by this accuracy. It is important to secure the Wix deck on all four sides with noggins to limit the amount of movement in the floor. They will also act as fixing points later on in the installation. To install the Wix deck correctly, the height and location of the waste pipe and gully need to align with the 160mm aperture in the Wix deck. Make a note of the location. Here a noggin is being drilled and a waste pipe is pushed through. Be careful not to drill the floor joists. Place the waste in position and attach the gully making use of the 50mm to 40mm reducer. Lay the deck back on the joists and ensure the gully and deck aperture align. Coat the gully and reducer with solvent cement glue to create a good seal and join the waste pipe. The Wix deck will always need to be supported between the joists to provide a solid platform and reduce movement. This is achieved by placing battens between the joists in readiness for an 18mm plywood base. A 160mm hole needs to be cut in the central section of the plywood base to allow access for the gully. The base must be fixed securely to the battens. Ensure the area is now level. It is imperative that the deck is perfectly level to ensure the gradient works effectively. Replace the Wix deck and ensure the trap aligns with the gully. If the gully is slightly off centre, gently adjust the gully to align, making use of the ball joint on the horizontal outlet. Check that the Wix deck is level and fix the Wix deck in place with the screws provided, starting from the outer edges and working in. A final check should be made to see if the Wix deck is level on all four sides. Remove the dip tube, fleece clamping ring, and using the tool provided, unscrew the one to one and a half threaded waste fitting from the gully and keep in a safe place until they're required later in the installation. Now position the undrilled gully base into the aperture of the Wix deck. Check that the centre of the gully base is in the centre of the gully outlet. Drill a 50mm hole in the plate with a hole saw to align with the gully. The gully now needs to be sealed to the gully base. Place the threaded waste fitting into the newly drilled base plate and catch the thread on the gully base. Using the tool provided, tighten the gully base to the base plate. Leave the tool in place to stop any debris falling into the gully. 
drill pilot holes through the gully base plate into the deck. Secure the gully base with the four screws provided. The gradient has now been installed and should be ready for the floor to be overboarded. The Wix deck is now sitting higher than your bathroom floorboards. Using a suitable substrate, overboard the remaining bathroom to the height of the Wix deck. Ensure at minimum the overboard is flat, however we recommend a small gradient is created towards the Wix deck. This will ensure that any water escaping from the deck area will flow backwards towards the waste. Now you are ready to waterproof the room. Before starting the installation of the Wix waterproof fleece, ensure all the working surfaces are clean and dry. Measure the area to be waterproofed and cut the matting to size using a utility knife. We recommend that you use manageable sizes of waterproof fleece at any one time. Do not use straight from the roll as this will be difficult to manage. Using Wix PVA primer, coat any absorbent surfaces. Using a 6mm square notch trowel, apply a flexible cement based tile adhesive to the first section of floor. Ensure 100% even coverage of the tile adhesive and that the gradient of the deck is maintained. The notch trowel will assist in maintaining the gradient. Starting over the Wix deck area, lay the pre-cut fleece on the prepared floor and press down evenly over the entire area with the smooth edge of the trowel. It's important that the fleece is bonded over the entire area without bubbles and ripples. When working in the area of the deck, it is important that you maintain the gradient of the deck when laying the fleece. If the gradient is removed, the water will not flow towards the waste. Once the deck section has been fleeced, you must now cut out a round hole for the gully. Ensure the fleece is not cut past the inner ring of the gully to avoid leaking. Use small notches to push the fleece into the gully, ensuring you do not expose any floor as this will compromise the waterproof tank. Apply a small amount of solvent cement to the inner face of the clamping ring and set into position securing the fleece to the waist. Lay the rest of the fleece avoiding overlap or gaps at the joints. When joining two or more pieces of matting, apply flexible tile adhesive evenly across the joint and apply joining tape over the seam, pressing firmly to ensure a complete bond to the adhesive. Apply flexible tile adhesive along the edge of the wall and the fleece. Apply the joining tape to create a watertight seal between the wall and floor. Apply a thin layer of tile adhesive to the corners of the bathroom and press the preformed corners into place, ensuring they're fully bonded. Your floor is now fully tanked. You're now ready to install underfloor heating. Please follow the manufacturer's instructions before attempting to lay underfloor heating. It is important that you do not tear the waterproof fleece when securing the underfloor heating to the fleece. You are now ready to finalise your tiled gully height. Replace the dip tube into the gully. Place the height adjustment ring in the locating position on the gully base plate. The ring will then rotate anti-clockwise on a rise and fall cam to locate the desired height. The lip of the stainless steel frame should sit flush with the tile to allow the maximum flow rate. Remember to allow for underfloor heating and an extra layer of tile adhesive. At this stage, the grate will not line up with the direction of the tile. This can be altered once the cam has been fully secured in position. Mark the height position on the cam, then remove the ring. Apply a small amount of solvent cement onto the cam faces of the ring and return to the marked position and allow solvent to dry. Once the solvent is dry, the stainless steel frame should move independently of the ring to allow you to align the grate with your tiling pattern. You are now ready to tile your wet room. You will find smaller tiles and mosaics easier to maintain the gradient of the Wix deck. You now have a beautiful wet room that can either be fitted with a screen, enclosure or left as an open shower area.
When installing the Wix deflector panel, ensure the wet room installation has had 12 hours to set before drilling the floor support to the tiles. Remember never to drill through the tile and waterproof fleece as this will compromise the wet room floor. Only drill 4mm deep into the tile to locate the deflector panel base plate. Thank you.